Hey everybody, I'm Mike and welcome back to E3-3D. So today we're going to talk about upgrading your filament roller that comes standard on the uh, Quiddy X Max, which is the one that I'm going to talk about, which is obviously the best one, which is because it's the only one I have. So we're going to talk about this. Alright, so there's a couple things that I noticed once I've got this machine and got it up and running and everything. Printed great, straight from the box. A um, couple problems I noticed though is that my filament was being tugged on a lot and it wasn't flowing smoothly um, going through the forums and everything. I jumped on YouTube, which guess what? There's no videos that explain this on YouTube about these uh, specific printers. So that's what we're here to do is I'm going to show you a couple different ways that we can fix this. The first way that we can fix this is going to be the clip. And this clip's just going to hang right on top of there. You're going to take off one of your little side plates and just hang it up there so it's easy to get out and uh, adjust it when you need to. If you're changing filaments like I did with all the colors because the entire family wants something in different colors. So, now the reason that I wanted to do it is because of this right here. So obviously you can see how big of a pain that is to get undone. And it's not just a kid, that's me also that has that problem. Um, I'd fight for a couple minutes every day trying to think to change this and it's not worth it after a while. So that's why I'm gonna show you a couple of different upgrades. Uh, you can get on to Thingiverse and there's multiple different ones. Uh, people are uh, remixing them every day. But the one I'm gonna show you is the one that I prefer, but feel free to use any of them. But I hope this video explains why we're gonna do it and how we're gonna do it. So let's get into it. Alright, so if you haven't uh, gone on over to Thingiverse to download the uh, filament roller, here's the, where you need to go. If you search for uh, Mr. Tech or just the spool roller, this is what you're going to find. So head on down to the Thing files and go on and download all of them or just the individual files that you want. Before you leave Thingiverse, jump back over to Mr. Tech stuff and uh, here you'll find the spool weight. And this right here, you'll see in a couple of the videos, the purpose of this is to hold the uh, light uh, rolls that are almost out of filament onto the uh, roller itself so it doesn't come tumbling down into your printer. So once we got that, we'll come over to your favorite slicer, which I'm going to stick with uh, the kitty print here. Go to where you got everything, extract it or wherever your files are, and then just go on and pull the ones you need in. So I'm going to pull in the X Max ones, and I'm going to pull in one of each of the uh, rollers. And then the spool roller lock right here, you're going to need two of those, so go on and bring all of those over too. So as this all loads up and everything and you got to get it all organized, uh, just go on and fit it however you can on there. I recommend is right here, the uh, filament guide. You need to jump that up from uh, 15 millimeter up to 20 millimeter, and uh, it'll give you a little bit thicker. Um, Master Tech talked about it and a couple of the issues that he had with it. So go on and jump that up to 20, and then go on and use whatever setting you'd like. I prefer the PLA and then hit the uh, prepare button it's going to take about 14 hours unless you run into issues like i did multiple times and uh, we'll talk about that so speaking of the problems here you can see the roller after about uh, eight hours into the print the bed somehow became unlevel which was checked prior to the print and it ended up knocking both of my rollers over uh, the three little pieces right there you see you'll see me break off in the next video but that's why when you look at this picture right here, when you see the next video, you're going to see a couple red tips because I ran out of filament also during that print. Alright, let's get into the building now. Great, on that beat, going crazy. At this point you can see uh, how I snapped off those little nubs that I was talking about earlier and just tried to continue on with it by holding it together.
All right, so as you can see, we had quite a few issues. Um, what I'm holding here is the uh, leftover of what got knocked over uh, during our uh, printing process. Problem was, as you heard me say before, the, the bed somehow went, became unlevel. Um, and so it just started spiraling and spiraling and it eventually knocked this over, which, you know, domino effect knocks over the next one. And so then I have to restart the entire print over again, which 14 hour print, eight to 10 hours into it, a little upset. All right, so a couple things that we learned uh, while trying to print this out. Um, the sides that actually where the ball bearings uh, will slip onto, that needs to be increased. Uh, I would probably reprint those at a, probably 100% infill, which I know that might be a waste of filament. However, it's gonna make those uh, sturdier connections right there. Uh, I ended up breaking off, as you've seen in the video, three of the four posts. Uh, so once it's on there, if I go to remove it, it's probably gone again. So that right there, um, I would print the pillars or the rollers separately. Uh, I tried to print it all at once. It, it worked until my bed came out of, uh, until my bed was unlevel. But if you print them separately, try to center them on the bed, just like with any other print. Uh, I'm new to this, just like most of you probably are. And if you're not, please let me know in the comments and say, hey, you messed this up. You should have done this. You should have done this. So any advice to help me, is going to help everyone else in this community. But so far, what I'm telling you is that this thing has worked great for me. Uh, you've seen the print at the end that that thing was able to produce. I had no issues with any under extrusion, no tension on the filament uh, throughout the entire print. So I got to tell you that this is probably one of the best upgrades. Thanks for joining me and watching this entire video and uh, how we uh, adjusted this filament roller and upgraded our system to uh, work more for us instead of us working for it. So please, if you can, hit the like button. Share this with all your friends that you know that's got printers or wanting printers, and then please subscribe. The more people we can get into this, the more people we can help, and that's the whole part. Of the, the whole purpose of this is to help the community to make everybody better. So we'll see you in the next video.